you're watching this right now and you have posted a hate comment on someone's page, listen to me. You don't need to do that. You don't need to comment something so severe to get a reaction out of someone just so that you can talk to them. There's ways to talk to us. You don't know what's going on in someone's lives, especially creators who a lot of us don't have the amazing lives that you think they do. What do I say for this? I think I'm just gonna crisscross. Oh! Let me just give you guys a little information before I start this video. I dropped my camera when I was in Hawaii. I mentioned that in the Hawaii vlog that I filmed on my iPhone, my new iPhone, that I also filmed the vlog on. I'll have both those cards up above. I filmed the entire vlog on my iPhone XS Max that I just got. And the reason I did that was A, it was a cool idea, and B, I dropped my camera and this lens nearly broke. My second lens. I literally broke the other one last week. I don't know how this looks. Hopefully the focus is all good. Sometimes it makes a noise. If it does, I'm sorry. Today is a video that is probably going to have absolutely no humor in it, it's gonna be a little different for me. It's something I've wanted to make for a long time, something that frustrates me, something that I'm always preaching to other people. It's going to include the people who watch my videos, whether you're a fan, whether it's a new audience member, creators, influencers, actors, anyone with any sort of fan base, and the people on the other side of it, fans, you guys. Today's video is about hate. As you guys read the title, that is why you clicked on this. I'm gonna be going into a couple different things about it, why it pisses me off, how it affects me, how it should affect you, a message to the people who are constantly putting out hate. Let me give you guys a little bit of backstory on myself. I don't want you guys to take any of this as bragging. I will say that I am proud of where I'm at in terms of hate and how hate affects me. I definitely show pride in that, but in no way is this bragging, nothing like that, but it might come off a little that way. I've been doing social media for probably three to four years right now. I've done YouTube for over two years. I started this channel in March of 2016 with my brother, as a lot of you guys know. This channel used to be Bo Bros. Jeremy's off doing better things. You guys know he's a fireman now, and he will be returning to social media eventually. I've been doing this a very long time. Our following was built kind of quick. We started in March, and by November, we had probably 200,000 subs. We had followers on Instagram, this and this and that, whatever. We had a following. With a following comes judgment, comes hate, comes this, comes that, and I've always been scared of blowing up. I've said that in videos. To me, the concept of having, whether it's a thousand people or a million people, but having hundreds of thousands of people judging you at one moment in time, every time you do something, every time you post something, that's overwhelming. That's not something that anyone should be able to handle right off the bat. And so for people who just fall into fame overnight, that has got to be the most overwhelming thing. That is why you see people go through depression, anxiety, is because there's people out there, some of you guys out there who take your insecurities, take your problems you're having at home, or just really like getting a rise out of other people or hurting other people who are causing this on people, guys. And I'm gonna get into that. I'm trying to go through all the topics of hate, but hate is one of my worst favorite things in the world because I see it every day in my work, in my life, in my friends' lives, and it affects so many people around me. And I'm going to tell you guys why I don't let it affect me. I've been doing this for such a long time, and with the fear of blowing up, I, I, I decided that over the course of my career, I'm going to practice myself. This is going to be another part of like the cockiness, but I always knew that I would be big, not because of who I am or what I do, just because I figured that it was what I love to do. It was a goal of mine and I was going to reach that goal. Okay. Whether you consider me big now or not, doesn't matter. I will be continuing to grow. Like I said, I'm hitting a million subs on the year. So I've always known I was going to be big, big on the internet. I'm not even going to use the word famous because I hate that word. I always knew I would have a, a large reach on social media at some point and a lot of people having eyes on me at all times. So what I've done is I've prepped myself. I started by trying to understand hatred. Where does hate come from? Why is it that when I post a photo that it has no hate directed towards anyone, I'm being nice, maybe a funny caption, that 10 of the thousand comments are people saying negative things about me. Things all the way from that looks stupid to severe stuff, like go kill yourself. Like that is the stuff you see on people's posts, guys. When I saw that at the start and on other people's content, I, I wanted to understand it. What did this person do to you to make you comment something like that? And then I was thinking like, well, if I saw that, that would ruin my day. So back when we started a YouTube channel, I began my journey of understanding hate. Here's what I've learned about hate. Hate comes from one of three things, or maybe all three things. Insecurity. If someone's calling you fat on a photo, someone's calling you ugly on a photo, someone is telling you you're not funny, 
uh, you're not good in front of a camera, etc. Most of the time, I'd say probably 80% of the time, it's because they're insecure about their weight. They're insecure about what they look like. They're insecure about them maybe not being funny. Maybe they want to be in front of the camera like you. And what they do is they take all that insecurity on themselves and they put it on you. It doesn't benefit them. It doesn't benefit you. And a lot of times it does the complete opposite to you where it just ruins you. A lot of people out there, when you get it so much, maybe at a young age or in just such bulk, you can't handle that unless you've done what I've tried to do and, and, and learn to deal with it over such a long time. So that's the first thing. That where it comes from wanting to get a rise out of people because that is for some reason why a lot of people think they're going to get a reaction. So say someone comments on your photo, hate saying this because my worst favorite comment I see all the time, go kill yourself. Something so severe that they expect you to come and back to them because it's so out of the ordinary, so ridiculously rude, hurtful, and can frankly lead someone down that exact path. You don't know what's going on in someone's lives, especially creators who a lot of us, I'm not gonna include myself, but a lot of people on the internet don't have the amazing lives that you think they do. We're dealing with this all day long. A lot of the times, they're just doing it so that you respond back and they're like, oh my God, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry, this and this and that, and I love you so much. It's like, are you, like, are you kidding me? Is that what it really takes to get a reaction out of someone? That's the same concept as doing something so fucked up that'll make you money or get you views. That's not worth it. It's not worth it for you to go on someone's page and comment something just to get a reaction. Guys, a lot of you true fans out there know that being a fan of someone is enough already. It's, it's, it's watching someone that you enjoy their work or maybe their music go through what they go through in their lives and that's enough. You shouldn't need to get a reaction. There is things for stuff like that. There's meet and greets. There's times where we'll respond to comments. Maybe you'll be one of those comments, but you should never be in a situation where you need to get a rise out of someone so bad and just a reaction that you have to comment something like that that could ruin someone's day who's going through something, guys. And number three, Three, I think it's just jealousy, which resorts back to number one, where it's like you're jealous of someone else's life that you're just gonna comment something hateful on their on their post because you're jealous. It doesn't make sense because if you're jealous of someone's life, either work hard to get there if that's where you wanna be. If you wanna be in their situation where they are in life, you can do that instead of wasting your time. Another reason that hate doesn't bother me, that I love hate, is because a lot of the time when people are doing it, they're wasting their time. Taking away from the time they could be bettering their lives to try to hurt yours and try to slow you down. And to me, it's like, that's funny. Well you've already gotten your punishment. And I'm not really someone who will retaliate. I don't I don't wish the worst on those kind of people. But in that sense, it's like, well, you're already getting what you had coming for you. You are wasting the time out of your life that you supposedly seem to hate so much to slow someone else's down, to affect someone else's. And to me, it's like, well, you just lost 10 minutes of that day. You just lost 30 minutes of that day. Maybe you wrote a huge paragraph and it was written out of hatred. Well, you just lost that much out of your day. And in my journey of learning hatred, it's like I understood these things. So when I see a comment from someone that says you're fat or you're ugly, whether it does hurt for a second because you do believe things off the bat, you do wonder why these people are commenting that and then you analyze yourself and I don't let that affect my confidence, this and that. Maybe I do think I'm ugly. Maybe I do think I'm fat. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let someone else's opinion on me rub off on my own opinion of myself. So when I see that comment, I just immediately think, well, they're insecure about themselves. That's why they're doing it. And when you understand where hate comes from, it's so easy to ignore it. If you know why that person's hating on you, then their comment that says you're ugly no longer has any sort of belief in it. You know that person doesn't believe that, hence you don't need to read it and take it into consideration. Number two, when someone is commenting that to get a rise out of you. And I see a comment so hateful that it says, go kill yourself. Something that comes from such severity that I, I just usually think they're trying to get a rise out of me. I understand it. I know that if I comment back, what's to follow is going to be along the lines of, oh my God, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm so happy you responded this and that. And to me, that's so sad that I'm not gonna take that path. I'm gonna look at that comment, know what's to come after that, and I'm just gonna shut it down. In my head, I'm just gonna say, nope, I know where it comes from. They don't actually believe what they're saying. That person does not want me to take my life. They're just doing that for the complete wrong reasons and need to learn that that is not okay, but I'm not gonna let that affect me. Number three, jealousy. When I read jealous comments, it's like, I just feel bad for that. Instead of letting it affect me, it's more of like, jealousy will never take you down a good road, whether it's in a relationship, when you're so focused on other people's lives, you're taking away time you could be using into bettering your own life, doing the things you want to do in your life, reaching the goals you want to reach. Why would you ever spend the time to be jealous and focus on someone else's life when you could take that time and focus on your own? I just want you guys to learn. I want creators out there to watch this and understand and maybe just say, wow, like I never thought about it that way and look at comments differently. I want you guys to, to actively be thinking about why these people are commenting these things so that you're not actually 
actually thinking that that's genuinely what they believe. I personally think that at least 95% of those comments are not believed by the person who are commenting that. And that's everything, guys. That's all that really matters, right? When you get upset about a comment, you're upset because someone believes that about you. But if they don't really believe that about you, then it shouldn't affect you. If you do something on the internet and people are calling you a slut or a whore, these terrible words, these words that put people down, and those people who are commenting don't actually believe that, then who believes that? You don't believe that, they don't believe that, no one believes that. So you guys gotta just understand where hate comes from. And for the people commenting these things, I hope you just got a message from what I'm saying, but since I directed something at creators to end up this video. Sorry about the focus, guys. I want to direct some at the people who are commenting these things. If you're watching this right now and you have posted a hate comment on someone's page, listen to me. You don't need to do that. You don't need to comment something so severe to get a reaction out of someone just so that you can talk to them. There's ways to talk to us. We respond to comments. Most creators respond to comments. You could become one of those lucky people at one point. Just be patient. We do meet and greets. You guys can meet us in person. You might run into us in public. That is not a way to get a rise out of people. There are people on the internet who have killed themselves, ending their lives because of hate comments. There's people out there, actually, I bet over 30% of creators out there have depression because of hate, because it's overwhelming being hated on by this many people at one time. If I wanna post a photo tomorrow, an edgy photo, 50,000 people are hating on me, are talking about me, that's going to hurt me. And even me, someone who understands where it comes from, if it was extreme enough to where that many people were doing it, I bet it would hurt me, guys. You don't need to take your insecurity and rub it off on someone else if you think you're overweight, if you think you aren't attractive, there's things to do about that, guys. You can start to love yourself if you are jealous of the content we're making because where we're at, you can work hard to get there. If we're living out our dream, you guys can do the same thing. We tell you this all the time. It's sad to me that us creators are always motivating you guys and doing our best to, to better your guys' lives, and a lot of you are just doing your best to worsen ours. That's not fair, guys. That's not something you need to do. And whether this video gets 50,000 views or a million views, it doesn't matter to me. I just want as many people to understand where hate comes from and to understand how it affects the people who are making these videos, the people who are singing, the people who are dancing, the people who are living out their dreams do not deserve to get this kind of treatment from the people who have helped us get to where we are. With that being said, guys, if you guys have any questions or something, something I didn't cover about hate, Comment down below, I will try my best to help you out. To the people who think I am a know-it-all, these are not facts, these are just opinions. This is what I have learned from being on social media, from observing social media, and this is why I am not going through depression. This is why I am able to deal with the hate that I get. I don't get a lot of hate, guys, but everyone does. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna be bigger, I'm growing. I plan on having a bigger audience and I am constantly preparing myself for that mentally so that I do not go down a path I should not be going down. I love you guys. Thank you to the people who support me. Thank you to the people who are always commenting positive things on other creators' stuff, on my stuff. That means the world. Thank you to the people who are not putting down my friends, my family. You guys are amazing. This is not directed at every fan. I think a massive percentage of you guys are awesome people and are on the right path and I hope that we are doing good motivating you guys to do what you want to do do and fulfill the dreams that you guys want to fulfill. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to smash that like button. If you guys enjoy, make sure to leave a comment, a positive comment. If you realize something, if you realize something, if admit that you have posted a hate comment and you want people to see that you're admitting that, if that, if you want to get that off your chest, do so down below, guys. I want you guys to be positive to the people who are admitting that. If you have ever thought about hating on someone's post, hopefully this has changed your mind. I love you guys. I'm peacing out for today. I'll have a vlog for you guys in two days. I love you. Go check out my past couple videos. You will thoroughly enjoy them. I was just in Hawaii, so there is two vlogs from that. So go enjoy those guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Join the family. I don't usually do sentimental videos like this. I'm kind of funny sometimes. If you think I'm not, don't even comment it. There's no hate on this post, guys. I love you. Peace out.